Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be talking about 10 books that I really want to read. So these are all physical books that I have. There are plenty of ebooks that I would like to read or audiobooks that I'd love to listen to, but these are all 10 physical books that I own or have from the library that I really, really, really want to read. I don't do TBR videos because I never stick to my TBR ever. I'm just gonna talk about books that are on my TBR cart, which are the books I want to read the most. So I'm gonna talk about those right now. First we have my most recent purchase. We have The Wallflower Wager by Tessa Dare. This is the third book in the Tessa Dare Girl Meets Duke series. Uh, earlier this year, I read the second book, The Governess Game, and fell in love with it. The first book in this series, let me grab it, is The Duchess Deal. These are such different sizes because I got this one off Book Outlet. This is the first book in the series. Each book is like a companion book in this series, so each book talks about a different couple or centers around a different couple. This is historical fiction romance and it's the only historical fiction romance series that I keep up with. <laughs> this is a historical romance, as I've said before, and our main character, Woman, believe like has like 10 exotic pets like owns like a zoo basically in her house that has always been my house I own eight pets so I cannot wait to read this one next we have my only library book on this list but I wish I had my own physical copy um that is The Duke and I by Julia Quinn this is another historical romance book Ashley from Ash Heart Books recommends this book to me literally all the time because it's one of her favorite series of all time so I need to read it <laughs> um I believe this this is going to be either a movie or tv show on Netflix I want to say maybe don't count me on that I've been wanting to read this book for so long I don't know anything about it other than it's historical romance that's the only thing I know about this book and that Ashley loves it so I'm trusting her opinion and I love anything Ashley loves so I can't wait to read this one. Next we have Redeeming Love by Francine Rivers. This is a Christian fiction romance novel. This is also historical fiction which I did not know at the time when I bought this but that made me want to read it even more. So if you didn't know I am very invested in my faith. I've been wanting to get more into Christian fiction. So my best friend who's also Christian recommended this book to me. She told me immediately after she read this book last year that first thing she saw was that Avery needs to read this book. So I of course bought it even though it's a big chunker. I haven't read a big chunker in so long but I think it's going to be so worth it. Basically this is about a man who follows the Lord and the Lord tasks him with marrying a prostitute and helping her grow in her faith. This is a powerful retelling of the story of Gomer and Hosea. Redeeming love is a life-changing story of God's unconditional, redemptive, and all-consuming love. I really want to read this book because I've been meaning to get more into Christian fiction, so I think I'm gonna really love this because my best friend Katie really loved it. Next we have a short story collection. We have Unbroken 13 short stories starring disabled teens edited by, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna even try. There's the editor <laughs> and there's the list of authors. I read the first story and didn't really love it, so I put it down at the time to read a book I was more intrigued by, but I bought this book because I am disabled, so I wanna read about other disabled people. I am really excited to read this, but at the time, the first story kind of put me off. It wasn't really that entertaining to me, so I really wanna read this really want to read it I know that I'm gonna probably really love this and really connect to these characters so I need to read it like now <laughs> next we have a book that I kind of DNF'd I did not want to DNF it it just ended up happening <sighs> and I'm so upset that it ended up happening that is Red White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston please don't hate me I got to page 172 this was a buddy read with Emma from Muggle Glamour I started this book around a week before my finals for my summer classes, so I was not in the mood to read it all because math was on my mind and I was only doing math stuff. Wasn't really reading. I really want to finish this book. I'm very intrigued by it and I'm really enjoying it. I have not felt the need to pick it up though for some bizarre reason. I think I might know an inkling why I don't like politics at all. Sorry, not sorry. I don't like politics. This book is very politic heavy. Is that a real sentence? Did I say that correctly? It's full of political intrigue. There you go. So a bunch of this book, I was just like, this is boring, boring, boring. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. And then when 
um, what's his name? When Alex and what's his name? Henry, when they actually popped up, when their scenes together popped up, I was like, ooh, this is good. Don't really care about all the other stuff. I care about Henry and Alex. So that's my crossroad right here. I guess I just don't want to read any of the political jargon, like at all. I've just, I've taken so many government classes that everything dealing with anything political just bores me. So unfortunately, I haven't finished this yet. I really want to though. So can y'all please scream at me to finish this book? Thanks. <laughs> Next we have Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. If you didn't know, I'm a big Christina Lauren lover. There is a bunch of their books right here and over here. Um, I love Christina Lauren's books so much. And this is one of their earlier works, one of their backlist books that I picked up at Half Price Books, I think, one day, or a book outlet, don't remember. I already had this book on my TBR shelf because I want to collect all Christina Lauren's books, except for the book Sublime. I already got rid of that one. Don't remind me of that book. Probably one of the worst books I've ever read. We're not gonna talk about it. This book, though, I'm really intrigued by. It wasn't really on my radar to read it as soon as possible until my friend Stacy from Stacy's Bookish Probs, I will link her down below. She read this book and loves it. I think she said it's her favorite book of the year. So uh, that made it go higher on my list of books that I need to read as soon as possible. So I don't know anything about this book except I think it's friends to lovers or maybe a second chance romance. I would be fine if it would be either one of those tropes though. I love both of those tropes. So I'm really excited for this one. Next we have this is not a love scene by S.C. Miguel. I meant to read this for the reading rush. That did not happen because I had school during the reading rush. This is another disabled own voices novel. This is about our main character who has MS and she is, I believe, the director for a movie. She ends up falling for her like lead in the movie but she doesn't think he would ever like fall for her or anything because she's in a wheelchair and he's hunky and beautiful and masculine and he never want to be with a girl in a wheelchair or would he <laughs> so this is their love story i believe and this is her debut novel and i pre-ordered this book i wanted it so badly i still need to read it and it's not very long at all so i'm really excited for this and i hope that y'all go out and read this book because I bet it's real good and we need to read more books with disability rep in them. And next we have Stealing Home by Becky Wallace. I've talked about this book a lot on my channel since I bought it. Um, uh, this book I got signed personally by the author. I like fell in love with the first chapter when she read the first chapter to us um, because our main character man like ends up throwing up all over the main character woman's shoes and that's just like it hooked me. It hooked me. <laughs> this is about a girl who is the daughter of the owner of a really famous baseball team and um, their new recruit. I believe she ends up falling for him, but like he like doesn't have his life put together or anything like that. I believe that's how it goes, maybe. Um, but this just seems so cute and I have not read a YA contemporary romance in so 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 long so I think this is a great book to get me back in the game with that and also this cover is beautiful I will never stop admiring this cover. <laughs> Next we have The Bride Test by Helen Huang. I know I haven't read this book yet. Who am I? I loved The Kiss Quotient last year. One of my favorite books of the year. It's sitting right there and I pre-ordered this one and I haven't read it yet. <laughs> I don't know. I literally have no idea why. No idea why. This one is I believe about the cousin of our main character in that one and he is on the autism spectrum and then his mom orders him a mail order bride from Taiwan but our main character man thinks that no one's gonna want to marry him because he's autistic but I think they end up falling in love anyway that's all I know about it why am I talking like this I need to stop yes I need to read this stinking book uh, lastly book number 10 we have monstrous volume one by Majorie Liu and Sonia Takenda sorry if I'm butchering those names um this is a graphic novel that I bought months ago and still haven't read yet which i have no idea why i just finished all volumes of saga that are currently out right now so i thought i would get into the graphic novel scene again even though it's been on my tbr shelf for months um i don't know anything about this book at all i believe it's fantasy based that's literally all i know is it has pretty art in it and it's fantasy based <laughs> 
so I can't tell you anything else because I don't know anything else <laughs> but I'm excited nonetheless and I think I could finish this really fast but I still have no idea why I haven't read it yet. <laughs> so there you have it those are 10 books that are on the top of my TBR. Let me know down below if you have any of these books on your TBR I would love to know or if you've read any of these books because I'd love to discuss it with you down in the comments below but anyways thank you all so 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 much for watching I will see you all soon with a new video. Bye! Mm -hmm.